Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I want to continue my four part series on how to use Tradedix to find notable tickers using their vast amount of Discord and website tools to begin putting together a watch list that you can filter down and execute on the following morning. Once you've used these tools to build your initial list, it's extremely important you research them further to only pick the best of the best. I put out a video July 14, 2022 explaining how to develop this conviction. Once the list is narrowed down to one to four of your best choices, make sure you watch the video I put out on July 11th that goes into how you can execute these trade ideas like a professional trader. Before we get started, if you'd like to get a 10% discount for TradeEdix, don't forget to use my referral link in the description. You'll also find referral links for TradingView and Top Step Funded Trader programs that will give us both discounts. Lastly, if you enjoy this content, don't forget to like and subscribe to help me grow this channel. So with all that being said, let's get into the final part of the series. And I want to talk focus on dashboards and some of their other research I, uh, tools that you can use to help to help find and build that initial watch list that you can then go into building conviction around and executing the following day. So the first one I want to talk about is the stock market dashboard. And this is essentially the first page that you land on in TradeEdix. And there is a lot of good information here, especially centered around indexes. You can see the biggest gainers of the day, which you can look for, or and biggest losers to look for continuation plays, uh, which you can build conviction around with their other tools that I mentioned in that July 14th video. We can look at sector rotations to pick out the hottest sectors. Now I showed how to do this in the Discord. This is where you find it on the website. And then of course we can look at some major market news and what one thing i really love is looking for upcoming earnings i never ever ever gamble on an earnings play because ivy crush just will burn you time and time again if you play earnings you can do certain spreads to help take advantage of that iv crush but then you also have to try to get the the move right and it's just gambling however when earnings occur the following day those can lead to some really really big continuation moves and that's when I really enjoy playing earnings. So this is where you can see those upcoming earnings to get prepared for the following week. Now, that's the stock market dashboard. And the next thing I would like talking about is the options dashboard, because again, that can be found here on the left under options. And most of you might know this tool. I know me personally, I, I, I essentially have this page up uh, the entire time I'm trading uh, from 9.30 Eastern to 4 p.m. Eastern or 4.15 p.m. Eastern, but um, we can see market net flow is here, but also, uh, and you can also quickly see SPY and QQQ intraday premiums, but what I really like too is looking at top daily options flow and weekly options flow. We can see the most amount of flow net premiums uh, coming in for various tickers, which you can definitely certainly get some great ideas from. Uh, TSM, Meta have been very hot. I've actually taken a few Meta plays this week. Uh, and there's a lot of other names. Microsoft has been phenomenal. Apple has been phenomenal. Uh, NVIDIA has been pretty good. Microsoft, actually, I'm still looking at for this upcoming Monday. It just, it just seems so hot right now. And we can look at volume changes in both calls and puts, premium changes in calls and puts, and the names that they're happening on, open interest changings to make sure, changes to make sure that you always want to see if you're looking to take a directional play that open interest in that direction is building up, meaning that contracts are being held. And then we can see uh, cheap plays, leaps, which I don't really mess around with, um, but they're good if you're a swing trader, of course, out of the money strikes, which means uh, can oftentimes indicate a target. Um, large out, out of the money open interest, which can, now a lot of this might be hedging if you're looking at the indices, but if you're looking at other plays, sometimes it's not, oftentimes it, it, it could indicate a big target, a magnet for price. We can look at the largest flow coming in, uh, make use of some of the options, Greeks, and then we can see shifting and there's some nice matrices and sector flow to look at here. We can see some historical sector flow and where premiums are shifting in and out of. It looks like a lot of bearish premium has been flowing into financials which given the uh, macroeconomic situation does sort of make sense. I mean, it's, it's hard to say for sure, but, uh, and then of course we can look at, and this, this is really interesting. I mean, there's a lot of bullish flow coming in right now or, or call flow coming in right now. It could be call selling. We don't know until we assess it further, which I talk about in other videos, but it, these, a lot of these names on here are names of great interest, uh, and QCOM I missed, which I'm kind of sad about, but uh, it might not be over. And 
So anyway, uh, that, that's the options market dashboard. It's certainly worth going through when you're building up a watch list. And then if you're, now I don't wanna to spend too much time here, but there, if you're a crypto trader out there, I don't wanna to neglect to mention that there is a crypto dashboard where you can figure out the hottest crypto trends and the biggest gainers and, and what's trending the most and market sent sentiment. There's a lot of great data here and even uh, news flow, which is nice. And there's some predictions there. And there's a lot of other crypto tools within Tradedix that I'd recommend looking at. I trade futures, options, and crypto future. And actually, these three are my top three favorite, Bitcoin, Ethereum, and Solana. But I, I, I love trading Solana crypto futures. Uh, it's actually one of the few crypto coins that I believe in long term. But um, so that's the crypto dashboard if you are interested in researching crypto plays and want to trade crypto futures. Uh, or just buy and hold crypto, which I, I don't know how I feel about, but uh, I'm a trader, not an investor typically. Uh, I mean, I do have long-term investments, but that's a different story. We're talking about trading here. So another nice thing is the Tradedix AI dashboard. And this is a uh, summary essentially of uh, of a lot of their other tools So tra that we've talked about in the previous parts of this series. So Tradeflow, Bullseye, Profit, and then sector analysis to, to get kind of an overview on what all these different tools, you can actually see some dark pool, dark pool information here, which is nice. Uh, and, and there's a whole dashboard for that that we'll go into. You can say see uh, heat maps for uh, SPY, uh, largest sweeps coming in. Uh, and then, uh, so and you can also see chatter now, this is currently set to SPY. Uh, this is a nice place to go. Like, so for instance, we just mentioned QCOM. You can see what uh, which trading flow, bullseye profit, and, sec and how the sector is looking for QCOM, which is actually all bullish right now. Uh, no surprises there if you've been paying attention to it lately. You can see the dark pool sentiment has been bullish, but it's starting to drop off, indicating the move may have already been made. We can see the calls and puts heat maps, the largest sweeps for it and uh, social chatter and things like that. So, um, oh, and this is the Scanny tool that we talked to. amazing tool. Scanny is just such a really, it's a really cool tool, really well designed. Scanny and uh, Flash are both pretty amazing scanning tools. But, you know, if you want a quick overview of all of the AI tools that, that you can assess a ticker with, the Tradedix AI dashboard is perfect for that. And that um, kind of falls more into, um, building conviction around a play than necessarily discovering a play but uh it's, it's worth mentioning here as like a quick look while you're building that conviction just to see if you want to pursue it further uh and then uh as i briefly touched upon we have the dark pool market dashboard which if you go to dark pool and markets you can see all of the largest dark pool trades and we have filters here now, keep in mind, we can't necessarily always gauge dark pool sentiment unless it was done via a block trade. Otherwise, we don't know the sentiment. We do need to look at flow and the chart itself. And we can actually even look at, uh, and I, I go into this in that conviction video, but one thing that, one, one of the newer tools that's really cool is like, so say for meta, we wanted to see where a lot of this, this dark pool density was centered around. We could actually type D or excuse me, T hyphen DP density meta. And this will show us where these dark pools are now. If it's green, it's it's bullish block trades. If it's if it's purple, we don't know the sentiment. We just know that there is dark pool positions there. And then uh, red would be bearish sentiment. And so we could see that uh, there have been some dark pool trades happening here. Nothing significant. But what's really interesting is like we see it come down to this bottom and then we see a ton of dark pool sentiment and we hold here and go higher. And that would tell me that this was a bullish dark pool trade simply off of the chart because it looks like they were building a position before this thing moved higher and then using bullish black trades to help drive this thing even higher. So now that we're getting more density, we could keep an eye on it. And you notice that oftentimes these density levels do fall in line historically. So like we see some dark pool activity here and here and here. If we were to draw a line, you could see that this was a ceiling at one point and oftentimes which was previously resistance then becomes support. So if we fall back here, I'd be looking to trade to take a take some calls off of that and, and, uh, and help see, hopefully see a continuation there. But 
uh, the dark pool data can give you ideas for further assessing it. And I also need to know, I did a whole video on uh, dark pool uh, sentiment and how to gauge it and how to use it in your trading. We can see a lot of uh, changes here in, in terms of dark pool amounts, bought positions or sold positions. Um, and so this is a really cool dashboard, especially if you like using dark pools in order to make decisions, which um, I found is a very, very powerful tool. Uh, seeing what big money is doing behind the scenes is, uh, is something that can give us significant advantages in trading. So, um, and then lastly, I just want to talk about some other notable uh, tools that exist on the site that can help us uh, build a watch list. And so this is kind of interesting. I haven't really followed this a lot. Now, uh, from what I understand, this is a portfolio that the TradeX AI is building. And there's a whole guide uh, centered around this that you really need to read. And of course, very first thing, do your own due diligence. I have a, a video that can help you with building conviction before you take any one of these plays, but it talks about uh, very important factors like risk management, which I've also done videos on and managing the trade. And if you're doing options or stocks and, and things to be be careful of, but you can actually follow this portfolio and we can see, I mean, it's, it's made some significant gains. It doesn't hold them for too long, which is kind of nice, uh, especially in volatile times, like what we're seeing now, but we can see how it's been performing and it's actually pretty impressive. Uh, and so you can look at the symbols here and not necessarily take every play on here, but certainly you can use it to get ideas for plays and see if it's something that you want to pursue and hold on to. And then of course you can uh, filter the portfolio down here, which is nice and see if it's ongoing, closed, open, so on and so forth um, to get some good ideas. And then Lastly, we have other tools like research tools for researching ideas in terms of like, this is political centered, what Congress and, and uh, those guys are doing, what hedge funds are doing, which is pretty cool. Um, one thing that's I also found interesting is, uh, is Gambit and Yin Yang. Now, not necessarily for getting a lot of, uh, so I mean, Gambit, can definitely give you ideas on different spreads to play. Like if, if you're looking at um, a particular ticker, so like if we were looking at meta, it can give you some ideas on, oh, nothing's popping up here, but if let's say QQQ is talking about based off the flow, how to set up a put debit spread to capitalize off of it. And there's even some basic stuff like selling calls on SPY, things like that. Yin Yang is interesting because it can show sort of a inverse correlation. So maybe if you're looking at, if you're bullish on cat, you can actually see like um, maybe uh, you could, you should be bearish on AAXN, things like that, which can help generate some ideas. I don't use this heavily, but it was just worth noting um, to, to play these correlations between stocks. And uh, if you've been trading for any period of time, you probably do know that there's a lot of very heavy correlations, both uh, uh, and, and a lot of heavy inverse correlations. So when one name's moving, other names typically selling off, but there's also like what they call sympathy plays where, you know, sometimes if AMD has great news and is moving higher, you'll see other semiconductor plays like Nvidia also moving higher. Um, and so, uh, there's a back tester built in. And then lastly, the last research tool is a uh, peekaboo to, to just help point out insider activity. Uh, so, you know, we have, this means we can see, we get, can get insight into politics, hedge funds, and then insiders. So people that actually work for the company that are, that are, um, are insiders, we can see a lot of insider buying has been happening on Oxy. And you can definitely uh, get some ideas from this. You know, um, I don't typically, look at uh, large insider trading activity, especially because this stuff is typically by law planned well in advance. So if you see a lot of buying or selling happening on certain names, uh, especially ones that are in the public eye, often such as Oxy, since it's centered around oil, these buys could have been scheduled like three months ago. So, you know, it's just something to consider, but again, it can help, it can, uh, you know, if you see um, uh, Moderna, like, for instance, we had a huge run up and then there was a whole bunch of insider selling and then Moderna did indeed come down. This was during like the post COVID time. So there, there is certainly valuable information in all these tools. It's just a matter of figuring out how to use it and then building conviction around it. So if you need help building that conviction, 
which I highly recommend doing when when you build if you get a watch list of you know 15 20 names you really want to narrow it down to maybe one to three of the best ones and to do your due diligence and build that conviction make sure you check out the building the best watch list using options flow data and then once you're ready to execute those trades uh, I use this pro trading framework that I learned from actual professional traders that are insanely successful in this industry and following their methods has helped make me very successful as well and uh, and so make sure you check out this video using options flow with the pro trading framework so uh, as long and TradeX is constantly creating new tools and and offering new ways to assess all of this data it's a it's a very valuable tool for any trader to have at their disposal so as of now this is the end of the series however if they do come out with some new tools for getting some new ideas i may extend this series down the road but for now that's this should be it. And, and hopefully going through all this all four parts you were able to learn something new and help you develop your own watch list so you can become dependent on yourself and not have to depend on anyone else to to find the best trades around and so I appreciate you watching. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out on Discord or YouTube or Twitter. And uh, thanks again.